hello guys so today i'm going to explain you how you can solve this problem weird sum this is from july circuits and as i have said in the other problems as well that i'm not going to publish this until the problem the contest is over so yeah let me quickly read the problem statement so we are given certain numbers and we need to choose some k elements out of them and uh, we are also given certain number m and let's say for example if the chosen number was a1 a2 a3 up to ak because we are only supposed to take uh, k elements then we need to find the maximum value that we can get uh, and the, the value that is defined as s here is uh, a, a1 to multiplied by 1 mod m plus a2 multiplied by 2 mod m a3 multiplied by 3 mod m and uh, we need to find what or all those elements that we can choose which maximizes this uh, no, basically we are not supposed to find those element we are just supposed to find the maximum the maximum value that s can have so just let's uh, take a look at the constraints uh, so constraint says that n is equals to 10 to the power 4 and k can be as big as 3 uh, 10 to the power 3 only and each element can be up to 10 to the power 7 and also the modulo value is on also on to 10 power 7 so the problem statement is pretty straightforward here i guess and let me explain you how we can solve this one so the approach here that we are going to follow is very much similar to subset sum problem and with some slight modification so so let me just uh, explain you how we can solve this recursively first so for each element we have option to either include it into our uh, a bucket of k elements so we, we have seen that we can only choose k elements out of this uh, array so what we can do we can iterate over each uh, element and we can keep count of how many elements that we have uh, taken till now so let let me just call it k and we will also keep track of which element that we are con currently considering so mm, yeah this is what we need an id and the number of elements that we have taken till now so what we can do we can try to yeah the, and we can yeah we can try to find we can try to make a decision on each element that what's the maximum result that we can get once we include this one and what's the maximum result that we can get once we not include this one so if for example if at any moment id uh, we we try to include this one then what happens is we uh, we say that we have included this one and then go to the next element uh, to find this answer recursively and then what we will do is we'll increase the id and k both by one and what happened when we included this one is that we will also uh, get some contribution from here so let's for now call this contribution and uh, the other other possibility that we can have is we can just simply move to the next uh, element to consider without increasing anything that is uh, just increase the element id and the k will remain same and there is no contribution because we are not including this one so yeah we need to choose which one gave the maximum result out of this one so this is the decision tree that we have so this this next recursions are basically the sub problems of this bigger problem and if you try to draw a bigger decision tree here carefully you'll re realize that these sub problems are also overlapping meaning that this is a dynamic programming based problem so we can try to uh, also memoize each of these uh, uh, sub problems that we calculate so that we don't have to recalculate them again once we see them in the future so yep with all these things in mind let me show you how we can code this one so here as you can see i have just uh, declared our db table because uh, that to store the state what we need is to store the id and the number of elements that we have considered till now and we have seen that this can be uh, the id can be as big as 10 to the power 4 and the count can be as big as 10 to the power 3 so this is what our table looks like initialized with minus 1 then i've taken the input and we have used k k as a separate variable just to keep track of the original k and then i'm just gonna recursively solve this one 
so let me quickly explain you if we i have exhausted all the k that means i am not left with any more uh, space to consider uh, any any element then the maximum result that we can get is zero and if i have include in i have reached till the end and if uh, my k was not exhausted that means there are still some values left to be considered and we we have reached the end and that is not a valid case because we are supposed to take exactly k elements so in that case uh, the answer should be infinite uh, yeah i'm trying to send some very high negative value so that this uh, is considered as a invalid case so keep in mind if you use uh, int max or uh, int min here in c++ that wouldn't work because uh, yeah this number itself can be as big as 10 to the power 7 and 10 to the power 7 multiplied by 10 to the power 4 that will be 10 to the power 11 and that is not sufficient to take care of the invalid cases that's why i've defined a bigger value itself here and this is the place where i'm taking care of the part where i just see if this particular state is already calculated or not then as i said here we have two options at any moment for any calculate uh, for any position or any id of the element that we can either exclude that is here what i'm doing uh, is not choosing this element and then compare this particular answer with the uh, with the choice when i make when i include this in element into our bucket of k elements and then what happens in that case is we are supposed to multiply it with the the number that uh, position that we are taking it so this is the part that i'm doing here and this modulo uh, multiplied by the number itself and this will be a contribution to the overall answer for the next sub problem so yeah once we found the maximum of all these uh, both of these choice we can store this and this is the part where i do the memoization and return this value so yeah this is very straightforward uh, approach here i hope i was able to explain you guys if there is anything that is not clear or if there is any doubt or feedback from me please let me know in the comment section below and if you haven't already uh, uh, checked out to my channel please uh, take a look uh, here i have uh, made videos on some other similar interesting problems you might find helpful and yeah please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thanks for watching this video